What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy, and welcome back to Wildermyth. Last episode, we managed to start our adventure with our three, uh, well, we had a warrior, a mystic, and a uh, poacher. And we also picked up Kitty here. She is going to be the next warrior that we have. She's going to be a frontline soldier. Uh, and we came over to the Star of Eastmare and uh, cleared this out. We've gotten a few... I'm trying to look for my uh, inventory screen. It's calamities. Where can I look at? Anyways, <laughs> we'll figure that out later. So we're going to be continuing down to the Har Harl Crone beaches. And we're going to scout this area out because it's the, really the only place that we can go. We can't. It's the only option to scout, which opens up this whole southern region. Okay. So let's, I guess we'll assault this, bring everybody with us. I think we're actually injured as well. We could wait six days and heal. Nine days. I mean, do we want to wait? The last thing we want to do is rush in. Calamities, yeah, we have more calamities now. You must cancel or accept the calamities. Yeah, we can do that. Monsters are now stronger. Jesus, look at this thing. God. I don't even know. Uh, we have four legacy points. Let's cancel this one. I don't... Armor... A new card is added to the deck. That's fine. We, we can fight those. Let's take out the raccoon's extra armor. Alright, can we see... So our health is seven out of seven. Okay, now we can see that. Eight out of eight, seven out of seven, eight out of eight. Okay, well then let's, let's uh, attack this now. Right? Because everyone should be good. 7.6. Okay, let's just get in there. The sun's fallen and, s and a silver fog floats in the trees where the shadows pool. Parsar stops for a second. The others won't want to lose you. It's obnoxious being heroes. Sometimes unnatural fogs and things. Pain in the ear. The quiet forms a fence around them, impenetrable, the whirling air almost utterly and opaque. Hmm, pretty odd. I think we need to not stand here. Let's get into the trees, and at least they're solid. They halt just inside the shelter of the pines, the dark air clinging wet, the trunks they press to dampen their palms. I don't like tree clinging generally. Hmm? And when, and there's something vast moves beside them, slowly arching slow, slowly archingly slow. It passes, too enormous to be seen, and possibly silent. Night's fallen, the fog wanders away, clinging to the felty outline of that gargantuan shadow. Let's find the other brothers. Maybe maybe they saw it too. Maybe they saw it better. I'd rather take a look at it now. Trail's too cold. No, we... Let's... Well, we don't know if it was... We don't know if it was unfriendly or not. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Come on, Impact, we won't go far. Still within scouting range. Lead on, then. Hope you don't mind if I say... If I stay ready. If I... Yeah. The night emptied of silence falls again with noise. Crickets and owls and scuttling ferrets. Approximately where the giant has passed through, they search. There are no footprints. Pools of green light are spaced 
along between the unbroken pine trunks, perhaps at distance to match the thing's huge strides. Even as they watch, the light pools rapidly shrinks into the ground, drying, sinking, perhaps just fading like starlight. Parstar runs, runs to stoop over one of these and scrapes the earth away with a strong limb of his bow. Careful. He plucks a glowing seed from the ground and tries to bury, burrow deeper, as it tries to bury deeper. It slips his grasp, but then floats, settling in the air. Russell, Russell. Deer, boars, or worse out there. Snatching the seed, Parstar secures it in his pocket. The shouting distance, right? It's certainly worth a try. Kitty, Anna. Their friends find them. But so do their enemies. Great. You just had to go yelling. Well, at least we found the, whatever it was, the seed. All heroes wailing provides no armor this combat. Oh, shit. That's not good. Okay, well, at least they don't have armor for the raccoon. Looks like we have a ranger one and two. I don't know if these are different. They, I mean, their color scheme is different. But they're named the same, and they both have the same... Uh, description, so I'm not sure if they're different or not. Yeah, we're also separated from each other. That's not good. Let's try... and regroup. Let's go to Sentinel mode. Let's bring you over here. And I can hit him from over here. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of this. It's like, please don't dodge it. Parstar only has two health. That is not good. Actually, I want you to infuse this. We really need to get rid of this. This, uh, Ragnar here. Or Rag... Ragger. This row might be an issue. Oh, they didn't attack Parstar, surprisingly. Perfect. We're actually going to pull him back. Um, can we shoot and move? No, so we probably should have. We can actually move up and strike him. It is a 71. What if we... I don't know what our odds are if we actually strike him. Probably higher than 71. Damn, we smoked that guy. Which is good, because we were... Parstar was not looking good. So dodge. Let's give it to Parstar. Once again, the night air belongs to the songs of ordinary creatures. Everyone's still here, 
I hate a night battle. It keeps knocking into trees. Parstar and Impact recount what they saw. A colossus striding silent, silently through the silver fog. The others never saw more than the giant banks of mist separating them. They make a further search of signs for signs of the giant passing, but are forced to camp precious hours of, from sunrise, having found nothing. You're an enigma, little seed. Parsar plants it on a sun-blessed hillside in the bed of soft earth. Who knows what will sprout? Monster now stronger leaves a trail of corrupt ground behind when it moves. Not sure what that means. Uh, let's let's do this quickly. Let's see what we get. So we get three spell threads, and we don't get an item. Three of seven. Okay, let's... Where do we want to go? What is our objective? Clear all hostile sites. Scout Lone Oak Arcanery. Alright, I guess we'll just start from this way. Or do we want to send... Two that way. And then send two this way. Divide and conquer. Ambushed. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Uh, out scouting, Parstar begins to feel the presence behind him. The birds have long been silent when distant pine branches begin to crack and groan. The earth thrums. Something's coming fast. Gorgons? Parstar, what do you sense? If we are swift, we can rush their lines. If we are patient, we can escape efficiently. I'll set fires. Chaos can be our ally. And count as we go. Most kill wins. Let's get... No, we're going to get out of here. They take positions, ready their equipment, and prepare to move just as their enemy rips through the ferns and bracken. The hope may be to flee to the fastness of the deep forest, string their pursuers out of the roots, boulders, needle hitting pits, finally elude them. So do I have two temporary Okay. Oh, it's just two. We can probably deal with this. It's okay to fall back. Retreating may sometimes be the best option when overwhelmed for some battles. Escaping is even listed as a possible objective. Once you move all of your heroes into the escape zone, the battle will end. Well. I think we might fight this. There's only two of them. I don't know where they are. So we will... We'll take cover. Behind these rocks. Okay, so we revealed him. That's good. Who has the most health? Yeah, we need to get in front of Parstar. Protect him. Two damage. It's okay. We can do this as well. I would like him to have some sort of... Some sort of sentry attack. Forty three percent. Nice. Now we can shoot him to hopefully kill him. Perfect. So yeah, there's that corruption that he's leaving.
No, I need to infuse this chair. And we'll shoot him. Looks like we're going to be taking a hit either way. No, we didn't crit him, unfortunately. Two damage. Okay, that's not bad. So we can infuse this rock. Beautiful. Uh, it may not be tide turning, but something significant happened here today. We should name this place. You mean Ark of, of Rainy. <laughs> well, sure, that's the overall place. But what about a specific clearing or cliff? You think they're, they have any names? A thing you name may tell your story, however, quietly and slowly. Anyway, a little... Come on, come on. Commemoration never went amiss. The top of a nearby mound of stones seemed to fit Parstar's vision. A perfect vessel strong enough to hold even weighty memories. The earthy earthen witness take its name this day. You have a official process for this? One makes one's own. The place will know. Parsar lit a tiny fire on the crag of the sun stretched as the sun stretched out, building small piles and saying a few words. Impact wondered if he was just enjoying the motions of a ritual a little too much. But when he came back down, something did feel different. The company took a moment to uh, acquaint themselves with the earthen witness on their way out. They continued on, hiding small smiles from uh, Parstar. Alright, so we definitely don't want to attack this right away. Let's let's get the company back in there. All heroes on this tile. Here, let's They're ambushed now. Damn it. I don't know if it's a good idea to uh, split up like this. Kettlebirds are normally... Um, ra raucous? This time of day. That's the first sign. The moss griddle trunks begin quivering. Turd... Thirds... Thuds... <laughs> turds... Uh, become audible. Wind pounding. Wild pounding feet moving fast. Gorgons? Kitty, what do you sense? And if we're swift, we can rush their line. We can escape. I'll set fires to chaos. Count as you go. Most kills wins. Let's take this, because I don't know what we're actually walking into. The only reason we didn't escape last time is because it was only two of them. Alright, so full cards, we have two enemies. We have a Ranger and a Raccoon. I think we should be able to deal with this. This is our two two warrior types, so let's see if we can we can do this. Might be better if they just charge towards us. We can kind of just hold our ground here. There's no reason to move up. That really hurt, actually. Yeah, let's get over here. Oh, brutal. Let's... Okay, we shred some armor. Alright, good. I'm glad that he attacked her. I want her behind the rock. 
and I want you behind here, because they are going... I'm assuming this raccoon's going to be shooting stuff at us. Yep. Oh, we still took damage. Okay, well, let's move up to cover, then. Move you up to cover as well. Keeps moving back. I mean, it's smart. We're going to have to just get... Uh, keep moving up. Can we retreat from back here? No, we have to... We have to move up. We're going to leave her back. She's taking too much damage. One more hit and she's going to be finished. I don't even want her to sentinel. I can only retreat so much. God. There, finally we caught up. Now we can hit this raccoon. Oh, we one-shotted it. Nice. Alright, long reach. Has range... Anna has plus one range with all attacks. What else do we have here? Diana's melee attacks do one more damage. Heightened Sense allows her to perform up to two reactionary strikes. Sentinel interrupts enemies' movement. I mean... That's plus plus range with all attacks and abilities. That's actually kind of nice. Let's take that. Bogmore. That thing looks pretty scary. Yeah, I guess we'll keep scouting. I want to bring these guys travel to there. Are you traveling as well? I want you traveling this way. No, back. Keep your heroes busy. This is an important resource uh, on the Overland. Enemy Calamity draws incursions. Yeah, and you're... Oh, I want to... Alright, let me... Can I bring you guys here? Looks like I can only go here. You can only go to a safe tile. Let's get the whole party here. Alright, now we will attack. We're still looking for the lone arc arcaner uh arcanery here. But what is our health? We should be pretty close to you're still two off. Um Okay, good. Let's get in there. I'm just saying, when the job needs doing, and needs doing quickly, some of us bash the, <laughs> some of us bash the skulls, and others stand in the corner and commune with the furniture. I'm not saying which way is better. I'm just saying. Hey, that furniture has some pent up rage like you wouldn't believe. I'm doing damage. Relax. I thought I saw a snake, but it was just a vine, I guess. They say snakes are simply vines with ambition.
Oh man, we're being wrapped up. Parstar, what do we do? Whatever you do, do it quick. Jesus, like swallowed him up whole. Let me infuse with the vines. I think fancy just get him out. Cut it right. Yeah, we're going to do this because it's 100%. It may be feisty, but it's still... But it's still made of vine stuff. Okay, but watch it, alright? It's literally winding around him. Well, you're just hitting it with a pan. <laughs> Knocking down vines with a pan. Hmm. Pulled worse than that out of the carrot patch. You okay? I think so. That was spectacular. Kitty, I must admit it. Let's hope the Gorgons are as easy to cut down. I doubt it. Plus two damage. I like that. There's that bog more. Alright, so the enemies are definitely... What is this? What the hell was that? A fire spirit. Okay, let's get our heavy hitters up front. Is this thing friendly? We'll stick around for long. Catch it quick. Thanks for the exercise. I feel kind of doughy. Chance Tier 0 mace. Replace it with more legacy points. Tier 1 fire mace. I think the legacy will be better. I think. I'm not too exactly sure what... Uh, if those things re replenish or not. I think they replenish... After each chapter? I could be wrong on that. Uh, run for you, Spirit of the Wild. Okay. nowhere else to go. So let's get into position. There's that huge bogmore. Oh my god, look at that thing. What can we infuse? Anything. Doesn't look like it. can't infuse with anything. That's not good. We're gonna sentinel with you. And... One, two... See, I don't want to... I don't want to end up getting in there. I want them to come to us. So I'm actually gonna pull back. We'll infuse this, because I'm sure they're going to be coming in. I dodged it. Three damage. That was a nice hit. God, I can't infuse anything. Wonder if I can I can kill him. Well, at least I hope I can. Seven damage. Damn. Smash that guy. Let's get up in this oh this corruption. What's this going to do to us? Okay, we'll just go here. Now ah, we got plus corruption. What does this do? Uh, 
Um, it should be under stats somewhere. I don't see it. I can move you over here. Use this bookcase or the shelf. Oh, it's actually going to hurt me. And I can't. I can't move. Let's put you over here. And we'll put you on Sentinel in case you move. Just stop infusing that target. Forge. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, we might get a level up. Oh, just four. Ooh, more armor. Let's. Looks like this is the same. This is going. To give Kitty better. Yeah, we'll give it to her. You get the sense that the forest grieves. It's like seeing the sadness of an of the old, isn't it? That's what I'd compare it to. You feel you want to help, you're not sure you can. Maybe afraid of the responsibility it could land with you. Um I just mean it's depressing, I guess, so yes. Hmm. It's pointless worrying, maybe. Guess I'd love to see more things at peace. Right, let's secure this. Yeah, we'll find an item. It would be nice to hire another... What's this? Impact has come into possession of a powerful artifact. It's... where is it? It's in... Broadloaf... Broadleaf Forest. We haven't, uh... Dismiss. We're gonna take this? I'm not sure what this is, so let's let's do it. A wandering stranger, come hide from the moon. The barrels are full and the fiddle's in tune. Come ask the barkeep for a bowl, cup, and spoon. We'll dance you to sleep or we'll drink until noon. Alright, it's not fine poetry, I suppose. The chorus is better. Parstar glances at a gleam. Impact realizes... Dagger in his hand is flashing in the mixed light of the moon and fire. Oh, it's nothing. It's... It's the mark of the old Wayne. Though it clutches it away, his friend has already gotten a good look. It's too late to deny it. The vision of the blade once behend, beheld can never be forgotten. Parstar? The ripping edge is oddly arresting. The odd... The old Wayne family grim... Rest glares, carving into the hilt. I didn't mean to let you see it, but what I intend seems to weigh little on its gravity. Darkness is in every is it is in every heart already, right? No evil magic required for that. But this blade somehow makes the darkness grow until it kills. My only fr oh shit, I misclicked. Damn it. Sorry about that. According to legend. 
This weapon, once Oath of Old Wayne, was made by the last uh, persecuted Old Wayne mystic. It was made for vengeance, to cause suffering. It, ru it ruined an old age of our land, shattered what generations had built. So now I need to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's where we're headed, isn't it? To destroy that thing. Do you still want to come along? I know it's dangerous. I intend to slip away once we get... Once we got close. You're not scaring me off, Impact. Sounds like you need a friend. In fact, I don't think the time is right. Yeah, no, let's... Okay, why can't she come along? Either way, I want to bring Anna. She's the stronger of the two. And you're still searching? You're still securing the site. Impact leads Parstar into the ancestral lands of the Old Wayne family. The Old Wayne legend is a rich well of villains for Marestone storytellers, a group of questionably related kinsfolk living in a scheduled manner, a secluded manner, practicing dark crafts. Predictably swampy. Come on, better if we stick close. It's not so bad when you get into when you get thick enough stones, only bad for visitors, which is probably what they intended. Soon they're within a proper ruin, with towers half sunk and many of them tumbled. We're looking for a forge. That's a stairwell. <laughs> or there's a stairwell. And there you go. You sure this is right? This is how you unmake the thing. Here, take the torch. As Impact draws the dagger, the oath of Old Wayne, the eyes over the forge begin to glow. The forge roars awake, vomiting hot coals. But the dagger itself, the glowing embers, arrest his eyes. And then he sees two, few, two futures in the in the flame. In one, he sees himself aged and alone, still fighting the same long, losing battles he embroiled in today. The other, he is not much older than he is now. He's used the power in the dagger to bring peace to those he loves. Perhaps he should wield it. It would change him, but not immediately. In the meantime, think of all the good he could accomplish for his friends and for the world. It would doom him to isolation, but it wasn't but wasn't he already isolated? Keep the dagger. We're gonna keep the dagger, I think. Perhaps he should wield it. It would change it, but not immediately. It would meantime it would Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Uh impact? I was wrong. There is a reason this dagger came to me, but it wasn't to throw it in the fire. Well? Impact cries resound down the stairs. It seems something doesn't wish them to leave. The Old Wayne Ghost. He craves the dagger. We can't let him take it. With a flash and a noiseless snarl, the spirit transforms. Alright, so Impact now has the dagger. A powerful cursed dagger forged by the Avengers family. It's so spell damage. Oath of Old Wayne. So now we have... I guess we'll claim it just a moment. This... Okay. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to end the episode here. When we come back, we are going to try and fight this mush rock. This thing looks rather formidable. Shoulder sledge, one damage, eight range. 
slam. That's heroes, yeah. So we're going to uh, take our three heroes and we're going to see what we can do with this dagger. Hopefully we can uh, put it to good use during this battle. So if you guys want to join me on the next episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.